Hey guys, what's up? It's the Fear One, and today I've got some T90 gameplay for you guys, so prepare and enjoy. Okay, whatever. I'm tired. I just got home from work, but uh, where have you been, Fear? Was Is that what you just said? Where the fuck have you been? I'll tell you where I've been. Man, I've been shopping, and I've got some XP 500 Turtle Beach headphones, so that's where I've been. I've been sitting on the couch, just smashing Battlefield, and absolutely loving the new sound. It is amazing. And uh, the reason why I chose this clip for you today is to sort of talk about my T90 setup, or tank setup, I should say. Uh, and, you know, maybe you want to use my setup, maybe you don't, uh, but I can recommend some other setups to, as well. Uh, might help you out a bit more if, uh, you know, of course, you are looking for some help. And as you can see, we've got a couple of tanks here, and I do not have zoom optics, so I'll discuss what I've got. As you can see, the HUD there, you're going to see a little beam coming off me. That is proximity scan, so all these little motherfuckers coming around with C4, you know them rat bastards I'm talking about. Little bloody monkeys that jump out of fucking, you know, climb out from under rocks, jump out of trees. Them little bastards, and they strap some C4 on you, and they will wreck your day. Okay, so that's what the proximity is for. Uh, that'll light up guys within the vicinity of your tank, and it works a treat. Uh, also, if you look up, you're going to see this little bastard right here. And when he's not engaging your squad members, okay, what do you think he's going to be doing when there's no other jets in the air? He's going to be looking for your ass, and he's going to have a guided rocket. Also, you're going to have engineers running around with javelins, so you must have smoke. Smoke gets me out of, you know, so much trouble, man. Uh, it is unbelievable. And the trick to it is, you know what, a lot of people smoke as soon as they get engaged by a javelin or a guided rocket. Uh, the trick is not to actually release your smoke until the javelin has been sent or the guided rocket has been sent and it's on your on its way. Uh, this will confuse the rocket and it'll probably land next to you. You know what, 9 out of 10, it's going to miss you. Every now and then you might get one that makes it through the smoke. So what that does is uh, if you let your smoke off a bit later, it gives you a lot of, you know, a big chance to get away. Uh, at least, you know, get some cover behind a building or something like that until you locate the enemy and then uh, take his fucking head off. Okay guys, so far that's proximity scan and that's smoke, okay? What else do I have? I have a canister shell. Uh, this is the bit where you don't have to do what I do. You can actually, you know, mix it up, whatever you want. This is what works well, you know, best for me. Proximity scan, like I said, you're going to have dudes trying to see for you. You're going to have, here I am trying to capture a flag right now. There could be a guy next to me in the building up that stairway. Uh, you know they all hide there all the time, okay? And if he was there right now, he'd be lighting up and then I'd be absolutely smashing that building trying to get him out. As you can see, one's just popped up in front of me. I don't fucking think so, buddy. Proximity scan, that's the go. But anyway, guys, like I said, you don't have to have proximity scan. In fact, I know two of the best tankers in Australia. Uh, they are on my friends list. And you know what? They don't use proximity scan. They use reactive armor. And what does that gives you like a coating of reactive armor where you take one hit. It'll give you one hit, free life pretty much. So, you know what? Yeah, a lot of people use it because they engage in tank battles and stuff like that and they can take a hit like I just did then and it wouldn't have registered but now they're naked, the reactive armor's gone once you've been hit once and then that's it. So I'd rather have, you know, the protection of, uh, you know, making sure I don't get c forward um, and use my tank abilities and moving in and out of buildings and cover to take out tanks and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it guys, I really wanted to get my, uh, you know, some tank set up and stuff like that to you guys, so hopefully you guys can try this out and it'll work for you. Adjust your sensitivity, you know what, to suit you best, because this canister shell, you know, sometimes can be oversensitive and stuff like that. Get it to your, you know, right settings, and uh, you know what, you're going to kick fucking ass on the battlefield. Um, don't worry, there's a whole heap more content coming your way real soon, I'm going to put up some highlights from the other night's game. We got number one spot on the conquest ladder for Australia, really happy with that. So don't stress, like I said, more coming guys, so take it easy, I'm the feared one, later.